I am Maya Makarath. Um, nice to see everyone again. For those of you who are still here, um, it's been a long day and we very much appreciate um, you still being with us. Um, I have prepared some remarks and I will be glancing down at my paper every now and then to make sure that I don't miss the things that I really wanted to share with you. Um, Nolo earlier this week asked me to do some, to share some closing remarks to wrap up our third annual Hispanic Farmers and Agricultural Professional Symposium. Nolo and I have joined forces about 10 years ago, and although our team has changed over time, our mission has stayed constant, which is to help each professional love what they do. We continue to have the honor to work with early childhood education professionals who whose staff take care of our youngest and most vulnerable populations. We, of course, also work closely with USDA leadership, which allow us to therefore work with you, Hispanic farmers and agricultural professionals. At the beginning of this webinar, which probably seems about a week ago now, Nola referred to challenges that we faced amidst the pandemic. Excuse me. All over the world, people continue to face personal and professional challenges, some exacerbated by the continuing COVID-19 pandemic, but others due to reasons that have nothing to do with a global health crisis, but rather due to situations that many of us will never ever experience. Through our research, professional and personal connections, we have a front row seat from where we witness the effects of poverty, health disparities and inequalities caused by systemic racism. Maya Angelou was an American poet and a civil rights activist who died in 2014 in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, not far from where we are broadcasting today. She has many phenomenal quotes. One that stands out for me today is this one. If you don't like something, change it. If you can't change it, change your attitude. To some extent, this may sound simplistic and to some of you, it may even sound cruel. But the truth is, each of you do this every single day. When you're unable to change the situation you find yourself in, you change your perspective, you change your point of view, and you essentially change your attitude. Sometimes you do this to benefit your children. Sometimes you do this to benefit your partner, your colleagues, and even strangers. We're at the very beginning of a month celebrating the contributions of Hispanics made and continue to make to the United States. Although the technical definition or description of this month is to recognize the achievements and contributions of Hispanic American champions who have inspired others to achieve success, I prefer to extend my gratitude to all Hispanic individuals who make positive contributions to their communities every single day. Three weeks ago, my sisters and I lost one of the most important people in our lives, if not the most important. Although my closing remarks are not about her, she does represent the type of person we should all aspire to be like, someone whose attitude and view of the world was with an open mind and an open heart, someone who chose to give people the benefit of the doubt, who spoke the truth with love, and someone who did all of this without ever needing to step into the limelight. As you wrap up your week and begin your weekend, I challenge you to be intentional about making a difference in someone's moment. I will end with one more quote. One Nola and I saw at a Head Start facility in Tennessee several years ago. You never know what someone is going through. Be kind, always. With this, we will wrap up our symposium. Thank you again for joining us and we look forward to seeing all of you next year.